Hello friends, welcome to this video. This video is about single row numeric and date functions in Oracle. So first we'll discuss the numeric functions and then we'll discuss few date functions. Okay, the first numeric function which we are going to discuss now is the trunk function. This function, uh, this trunk function is used to truncate a number to a specified number of decimal places. The syntax is trunk n1 and this n22 parameters it accepts. This, this function returns n1 truncated to n2 decimal places. If n2 is omitted, then n1 is truncated to zero places. The n2, this n2 value can be negative, and if the value is negative. It truncates or makes zeros into digits left of the decimal point. Let's discuss this with a few examples here. You can see the first example is trunk. I have this 8823.4567. So this value, if I use the trunk function, it will remove, it will truncate the decimal places and returns me the whole number. Now if I provide the value of n1 here, then what it happens it it truncates the value but it will keep three digits after the decimal places. It will keep four, five, six, it will only truncate seven here. Now if I truncate here, I have give the number as five here. So as, uh, as there are only four decimal places I give I have given five so the original number whatever was a number it will be returned now if I use a negative number here so what it will happen it will truncate or it, uh, it will make it will add zeros three digits left of the decimal point okay that if we add three digits three zeros to the left of the decimal point the value will become as 8000 right now if I use minus 2, it will add two zeros left of the decimal point. So it will return 8800 here. Let's move to next uh, function. Next function which we are going to discuss is the round function. This round function returns the value after rounding the number. Okay, this uh, syntax is similar to a trunk function as well. Round, it will we can provide the first parameter here and the, and the second parameter here, where uh, the number it returns the end rounded to integer places to the right of the decimal point. If we omit uh, integer, then n if you omit this one right, n is rounded to zero places, and this number can be negative to round off digits left of the decimal point. Let's see a few examples here. Now if uh, here I have used a round function, I provided my decimal number here. So now it will be rounded to, as if you can see, the decimal point, uh, after decimal point I have 2, 2, right? So it is rounded to a whole number here. Now if I provide uh, this value here, that is, a, uh, I would say th uh, that in one value, so it will be rounded to 3 digits it will be rounded to three decimal places now if I provide a negative value here so similar to the trunk function what it will do it will round two digits left of the decimal point so 489 will become 500 will be rounded to 500 now if I provide here uh, minus 3 I want it to be rounded to uh, three digits left of the decimal point so you can see uh, I have a three digit number here it cannot be rounded to three digits left right so it returns me the value as zero if I want to return uh, want it to be rounded to one digit left okay right so it will be rounded to four nine zero let's see a few more examples like if you can see I have two point three one and I want it to be rounded minus one right 
so uh, if you can see left we have only one digit right so it can't be rounded so it returns zero if i have 21.31 then it will be rounded to 20 if i have 25.31 then it will be rounded to the uh, 25 will be rounded uh, to the next integer that is 30 if i have 26.31 then also the value will, which will be written will be 30 let's move to uh, some other function now we have this floor function and seal function similar they are similar to uh, round but there are little differences there so if you can see the floor function i have uh, this example <coughs> uh, floor i have entered uh, the number here so this will return the largest integer which is equal to or less than the input number so 22.23 what is the largest integer which is at least equal to or less than this input number is 22 right so it 22 is returned even if i provide uh, 22.63 the largest integer will be 22 only it's not going to be 23 okay so it's 22 is only returned then we have the seal function which returns the smallest integer which is greater than or equal to the input number so if i have 22.23 what is the uh, smallest number which is greater than this okay so the great number which is uh, just greater than this is 23 right and which is the smallest number so it will return 23 again if even if i have 22.63 <coughs> which is uh, i need a number which is greater than this and uh, uh, so numbers which are greater than this will be 23 24 25 etc right so in this i need the i want the smallest number so the smallest number will be 23 only right so 23 is returned now let's move to next function which is our uh, this sign function sign function is very easy so if uh, we use this sign with this uh, the number value provided here if the value is negative it will return minus one if the, if the number the value is zero it will return zero the if the value is greater than zero right if it is a positive number the value return will be one the next numeric functions which we are going to discuss are mod and reminder functions these functions are similar they are used to return the reminder of the uh, division okay so the syntax is also similar like mod uh, n2 and this is n1 so similar reminder n2 and n1 so if you see in reminder if n1 this number is not zero then the reminder will be calculated as n2 minus n1 into this n right where n is a integer nearest to n2 divided by n1 <coughs> so the same conclusion we can use for both mod and reminder so these are similar as i said so mod, fu mod function is similar to reminder except it uses floor in this formula whereas reminder uses round so let's discuss this with a few examples so uh, here are the few examples uh, here what I have done I have tried to find the mod and the reminder I have just concatenated these uh, with uh, the strings like mod or reminder so I do not have to so th that I can see show you the difference in uh, a single line right with instead of uh, showing differences with different outputs so if you can see uh, I this is the value which I have printed mod and reminder one two three four okay so let's see the first one so here uh, i have this mod this string which will be printed as it is i have tried to find that the mod of this number then i have the reminder and this the uh, uh, whatever is the result of this reminder function which will be printed here so let's see how it is calculated so as we saw previously we have to first calculate the capital n which is into minus n1 so in our case it is 67 by 4 16.75 so as we know now it is uh, the value that of n is 16.75 when we are using mod mod uses floor function so what is the 
uh, if we uh, use floor of 16.75 the value will be 16 right uh, but reminder function uses your round function so what is the round of 16.75 it will be 17 right so uh, we'll now add this calculation into minus n1 into this capital n so in our in the fun in case of mod it is 16 in the case of reminder it is 17 so uh, accordingly the uh, value here will be 3 and the value which is coming here is 1 similarly for 16.16 .16 divided by 2 uh, this capital n value is 33.5 if we apply the floor, floor function in mod it will be 33 if we apply the round function in reminder the value is going to be 34 and accordingly the calculation is done if you can see here the, the value is printed is 1 and this is minus 1 now if we divide 67 by 6 which is 11.6 the floor of this 11.6 um, uh, is 11 now the round of 11.16 is also 11 right because it is not it is less than 5 this is 1 is less than 5 it is not 11.5 the reminder is also 11 so in this case the mod and a reminder function is going to return you the same value if we have 67 divided by 7 it is 9.57 again the mod will be 9 because it uses floor function and reminder will use your round function so 9.5 will be rounded to 10 and so you can see the difference in the mod and the reminder function here uh, let's move to the next function so we have discussed couple of uh, numeric functions let's discuss few date functions here the first date function which i'm going to discuss here is trunk you can see trunk is state so this will <coughs> remove the uh, timestamp part we, we will be only able to see the date part here if now I add uh, this date and this parameter month, so what it will do, it will return the first day of the current month. So if the month now is May, right? It was it requires uh, this date was 29th May. It will return the first day of the current month, that is first May. If I use trunk this date year, then it will return the first day of the current year, which is first Jan 2021 next function is round function so round if i use uh, round this date month so what it this will do if the current date is more than 15 then it returns the first day of next month so in our case it is 29th may which is greater than 15th so it will return the first day of next month that is first june similarly if i use uh, this date round uh, to uh, year so if the current date is more than 1st July, then it returns the first day of next year. But in our case, uh, it is 29th May, which is less than 1st July. So it returns the first day of the same year, that is 1st Jan 2021. Next we have this extract function, like if we want to extract year from this date, it is uh, it will give me 2021. If I want to extract the month part from this date, it will return me 5 discuss few more date functions uh, this is the add months where uh, uh, this function is used to add or subtract the month from this date like uh, now here I have used this date minus 3 so if the if it is May right now so three months before which will be Feb then we have the last day function uh, where uh, I have provided this day va value here so it returns the last date of the current month which is like the current month is May so it will return me the last day that is 31st May <coughs> now we have something like next day function where uh, here I have provided a parameter as this date and, and that what is the next day which I want so I have provided here Wednesday so currently it is 28th May today so when is the next Wednesday next Wednesday is on 2nd June right so it returns the next date when it is Wednesday so it will return me 2nd June so we have months between where uh, <coughs> I can provide the first uh, date and the second date and we'll, we will find out the months between this now if the first date parameter is less than if I say this, this first date parameter is less than the second one it returns a negative value else it will return a positive value so here as this date it is 2020 
one and then second parameter is 2022 so this is less than the second parameter so it will return number of months counted and will return a minus value here similarly if i have this date here and if i have a previous date here right so it will return me uh, the number of months between these two periods and it will return me a positive value here that's all for this video thank you for watching